Hello, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here today to practice this all standing yoga anywhere flow with me. This is a quick practice designed for a time when you are short on time, but really just need to move your body and link breath to movement for some quiet, restorative, meditative time to yourself. Perfect for the holidays when we tend to be pulled in a lot of different directions. Also perfect for any time of year when you have a short amount of time and you want to move your body. You don't need a mat for this practice, but if you prefer to stand on a mat, go ahead and grab your mat. If you like to listen to music while you do yoga, go ahead and get your music turned on. And once you're all set up, meet me back here. All right, friends, we are going to start standing. Feet about hip width distance apart, facing the front of your mat, but I'm gonna face you. Go ahead and root the big toe mound, the pinky toe mound, and the inner and outer arch or edge of your heel down into the mat. Lift your toes and notice how your arches lift. Go ahead and give your quadriceps a squeeze to lift your kneecaps and find a neutral spine. So tailbone slightly tucked. Go ahead and close your eyes and bring your thumbs to heart center. You can bow your forehead towards your fingertips. And go ahead and thank yourself. The hardest part is done. You are on your mat. You have showed up. You're taking this time for yourself. Well done. On an inhale breath, blink your eyes open. Circle, sweep the arms up overhead. And on an exhale breath, pull the thumbs back to heart center and lift your heart towards your thumbs. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, fingertips reach towards the ceiling. And exhale, pull some goodness down to your heart. One more time, inhale as you circle, sweep those arms up overhead. Think about something that brings a smile to your face. And as you exhale, pull that smile back down to your heart. Now, if ujjayi breath is in your practice, seal your lips closed. Take deep filling inhales through the nose and powerful, steady exhales through the nose with a slight constriction in the back of your throat to create an audible sound when you exhale. Go ahead and bring your arms down by your side, palms facing forward. Step your right foot behind your left so that the pinky edge of each foot is touching and then take a side bend up and over towards your left. You can even use your left hand around your right forearm to kind of guide those right fingertips over towards the left. Spiral your chest up towards the ceiling and pull the right thumb back. Go ahead and come back through center and we're just going to take a gentle counter stretch. So walk the right fingertips down the right leg and reach the left fingertips over towards the right. Go ahead and bring both arms down by your side. Step the left foot next to the right. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ground that right foot. And we're gonna bring the right knee up into a hug, sort of like a half wind pose, but standing. And then once you find your balance, you can turn some circles with the left ankle in one direction and then turn them in the opposite direction. My hand slipped there. And then go ahead and come back through center. Release the foot, keep the knee bent at 90 degrees. And we're gonna come into a tree pose, bringing the sole of the left foot to the upper inner right thigh or to the inside of the right calf. Squeeze the right quadricep. Not only does it lift your kneecap, but imagine that it's lifting the skin on your shin. Find a tuck in the pelvis, neutral spine, and then imagine that you're opening that left knee out and down. Go ahead and bring your thumbs to heart center. And you can hang out here if you'd like to grow your tree. Go ahead and grow your tree fingertips towards the ceiling. For an added balance challenge, you can lift your gaze. 
If you're feeling extra brave, you can go ahead and close your eyes. I'm going to keep mine open. I don't want to take a tumble in our class. But if you're so, but you know what? If you're up for that, you close your eyes. And if you tumble out of the posture, you just get right back in. And then on an exhale, go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. Go ahead and step the left foot down towards the right. Give your knees a little shake. And then on an inhale, we're going to come into a chair pose. So just as if you're sitting into that imaginary chair. And if you can lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling without shrugging your shoulders, go ahead and lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling. If you feel your shoulders shrug, go ahead and bring your fingertips shoulder height. And I like to bring my pinkies in, thumbs out. And then maybe once you've done that, go ahead and try again to reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and come up to stand. And you're going to take a big step out with your right foot. I'm going to turn and face you. So I'm actually taking a step out with my left foot, but that's okay. Heels in, toes out. Reach the fingertips up, coming into star pose. You might feel a little creaking, cracking in your chest. And then on an exhale, come down into goddess legs. So heels in, toes out. And we're going to bring our hands to our, just above our knees. And you can either have your thumbs in or you can have your hands in. I like my thumbs in because I feel like it opens up my shoulders a little bit more. And just allow your hips to move from side to side. Really nice opening for the inner thighs. Nice stretch for the hip flexors. And then come to center. And you're going to dip your right shoulder towards the left. Come back through center, dip your left shoulder towards the right, pressing into your thumb to really open up the knees here. Come through center, dip the right shoulder, come back through center, dip the left shoulder. Come to center, extend the arms out like a T, and we're going to give ourselves a hug, bringing the right elbow underneath the left. Go ahead and extend the arms back out. I know it's a little spicy on the legs. We're strengthening and stretching at the same time. Give yourself a hug. One more extension, arms out like a T. And bring the right elbow underneath the left. Lift the elbows in line with the shoulders. And then a big opening back up to that star pose. Oh, feel the stretch in the legs. Now, bring all 10 toes to face forward, and we're just gonna take some lateral movement here, side to side. Now, if you are feeling open enough in your hips and you wanna come down lower, almost into a skandasana, that's good. You can come down into that skandasana. Otherwise, we're just gonna shift side to side, opening up the inner thighs, nice stretch in those adductor muscles. And then go ahead and come to center, up to stand. Bring your hands to your hips. Tuck the tailbone down towards the mat. Find a neutral spine. Ground through all four corners of your feet. Lengthen your chest forward. I like to keep a bend in my knees and bring your hands to the mat underneath your shoulders into a halfway lift as we come into this prasarita. Bring your right hand underneath your chest. Bring your left thumb to your left shoulder. Peel open, simple twist. Be mindful to keep your low back level. And then go ahead and bring the left hand back down. Bring your right thumb to your right shoulder. Gently open up the shoulder, elbow up towards the ceiling, and then reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Come back to center. And then go ahead and bring the hands back to the hips. Come up to stand, tucking your tailbone under. And we're going to come back to the opposite end of the mat, stepping forward. Inhale, circle sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, bring the thumbs to heart center. So this time the left leg is going to ground 
and we're gonna hug the right knee up towards the chest. I like to bring my hands just underneath my shin. Draw those shoulders down and back into their sockets. Really press into the right foot as you begin to turn those circles with the left ankle. I'm turning mine out towards the left, or the right ankle rather, and then turn the circles inward. So ankle mobility is really important in life and in our yoga practice. And then go ahead and release the hands. And then we're going to come into that tree pose. So the left leg is our trunk this time, bringing the sole of the right foot to the inner upper right thigh or below the knee, but not against the knee. Gently guide the tailbone down. Lengthen your waist up and out of your hips. And then guide the right knee back and down. So like a door hinge there almost. Really feeling this opening in the front of the hip flexors, hips here. And then go ahead and bring your palms to heart center. Keep your chest lifting towards your thumbs. And then go ahead and if you'd like, grow your tree. Continuing to press into the inner and outer heel and the ball mound and the pinky mound of the foot. Find your focus point, that dristy, and check back in with your breath. Then on an exhale, go ahead and bring that foot down. And you can kind of shimmy your hips from side to side. And I just realized that I forgot to do the part where we step the left foot behind the right. So we're just gonna go a little bit out of order. It's okay, there's no rules. So left foot behind the right. We're gonna reach the left fingertips up and over towards the right. Again, you can bring that right hand to the left wrist. Bump your hips over towards the left and stretch towards the right. And then go ahead and come back up through center. And we're going to stretch the right hand over towards the left. So feeling a nice opening in this outer right side body right here right now. And then go ahead and come back to center. And we're going to come into that chair pose. Whatever's right for you. If you feel like you it's too much for your low back, you're gonna straighten into your legs. If you wanna go a little bit lower, this is our second time here. Go ahead and get just a little bit lower. Gazing up towards those fingertips. Pinkies in, thumbs out. And then go ahead and come back up to stand. And we're gonna take a big step out with our left foot this time. And I'm just going to face you. And coming into that star pose, heels in, toes out, tailbone down, almost like you're lifting up and over an imaginary barrel. And then on an exhale, come into that goddess or horse pose. And you can bring your hands to your hips or you can have thumbs at heart center and shimmy side to side. And then go ahead and settle in here. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Loop your shoulders down and back in their sockets. Palms face in. Keep the outer knees pressing out. And I hope you're shaking as much as I am here. So my quads are working a lot here. I'm getting a stretch in my outer hips. It's a nice stretch for my hip flexors here. And it's an excellent exercise for the mind. Can you control that breath while your body's quaking and shaking? If you can't, maybe come up a little bit. If you can, sink down a little bit. And on an inhale, release back up to star pose. And then bring the toes, all 10 toes to face forward. And we're just gonna Go side to side in that tall skandasana. And like I said before, if you want to come down lower into your skandasana, be my guest. It is your practice after all. And if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can bring the hands out. 
or you can bring the hands to the hips to scale it back just a little bit. There's no right or wrong. It's just what is right or wrong for your body. And then coming to center with the hands on the hips, slight bend in the knees or a very deep bend in the knees. We're gonna hinge into that prostorita wide-legged forward fold, pressing all four corners of the feet into the mat, leaning towards the toes, but the heels stay connected to the mat. And you can stay here in this halfway lift at the center or if it feels right to you to first walk your hands over towards the left, go ahead and walk your hands towards the left. Relax your shoulders away from your ears, feeling that nice deep opening in the left hamstring. And then come back to your center and walk your hands all the way over to the right. And bending into the knee as much as you need here. Lengthening the waist out of the hips. Coming back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. Press into all four corners of your feet. Bend your knees. Tuck your tailbone under. Coming back down into that goddess. Extend your arms out like a T. And this time we're going to give ourselves a hug with the left arm coming underneath the right. And then go ahead and re-extend. Give yourself a hug again, this nice shoulder opener. One more time. And hug. Arms extend like a T. And then come back up to star pose. And we're going to step back to the top of the mat. I'm going to face you guys just because um, it's easier. You can see me. And we're going to come down into a chair pose. And you're going to ground your right leg and you're going to bring your left up and over your right toes either kickstand on the mat or tuck those left toes behind the right leg and we're going to bring our right arm underneath our left for eagle pose either that hug or you're going to cross and find that compression at your elbows and your wrists so we want knees and elbows in a line, hugging those inner thighs together, lifting the elbows in line with the shoulders. Remember, you can always stay in that hug. You can always have the right toes, or I'm sorry, the left toes on the mat next to the right foot. And then go ahead and unbind. And then come back into your chair pose. And this time we're going to ground the left leg. We're going to bring the right knee up and over the left, either kickstanding the toes or finding that toe lock, just wrapping the toes behind the ankle. And this time left arm is going to come underneath the right. And you're either going to give yourself a hug and bring your elbows up to shoulder height or you're going to find that compression at your elbows and your wrists. So think about your back being flat against the wall, elbows and knees in a straight line, core is firm and engaged. Maybe sit a little bit lower, or maybe you come up a little bit higher. Being strong is deciding what's right for you and doing the right thing in the moment. And then release. Circle sweep the arms up overhead. Close your eyes. Bring the palms to heart center. Lift your chest to your thumbs. Press your thumbs into your heart. And speaking of your heart, it's probably beating right now pretty pretty loudly. Thank it for everything that it does for you. Thank your body for everything that it does for you. And friends, if you'd like to take Shavasana on your back, be my guest. Otherwise, we're going to stay here for a few moments. 
before we step off of our mat and back out into the world. Friends, thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.